should this made handicap golfer have gone for the P790s or for the current irons he is using? Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel and you will see that we are testing the P790 tailor-made irons today. We do have mid handicap Dave back on the channel. Welcome Hi. back Dave. How are you doing Chris? Very good, yourself? Not bad at all, bad in football. We don't want to talk about that though. Let's get 6-1 on leads lost yesterday, everyone just to let you know. But we'll branch over that. We're going to talk about irons however, today. However, you know, at least if we get a two goal lead, we can use Lang onto it. All right, yeah, Arsenal didn't do the best at the weekend. But we're going to be comparing these to Dave's Tacoma irons. So a lot of people have asked for this. Obviously, they've asked why Dave hasn't gone for something that is stronger loft. He did have the Callaway DCBs before, which were stronger lofted, but we wasn't getting the landing angle, we wasn't getting the numbers that he wanted to be able to get down to that elusive single figures. So we're going to be testing this today. So as Dave tees off here with his TSR1, we're going to talk through some information with these irons. So again, stronger lofts on these irons, we know that the P790s are the more forgiving of the range from TaylorMade. We are next week going to be looking at the P770s and how they stand up. But a lot of things here for forgiveness, a lot of things that are for higher handicappers. But is that always a thing that uh, you will need? So Dave's going to lead us off here at the first at Waterfront. It's a little hooky one early on this morning for Dave, but it's down there and yeah. hopefully it leaves him a seven iron in. <laughs> so guys, a fairway hit there. It has actually left Dave the perfect number. So 155 is Dave's total. We've seen really with this club, we'll be looking at around about 140 to 145 carry. And that's what we're going to show you here. We're going to hit one ball with the P790, one ball with his seven iron from his Tacomo set. We're going to see the flight, we're going to see the launch and see how it feels for Dave. We know Dave's tested a lot of golf clubs, especially drivers. <laughs> we're going to see how the iron goes for him. So, not a bad strike, a little bit to the left. Yeah. So, not your best strike, Dave. So, we're going to go and you'll see on the screen now, guys, we'll see the differences in the loft. So the six iron loft in the P790 is 26.5 and with his Tacomos, it is 28 degrees. So when we're thinking about numbers there, instantly you would think that, yes, the P790 should go further, but it might not be carrying further. And that's what we're working on with Dave. And on the screen, you can see the looks very similar looking but which one's going to perform the best? It's not always a stronger lofter that goes the furthest. Dave's going to come in here now with his Tacoma 101T. And a lot of people ask why he didn't use the 101s. That is because of the offset. They were maybe more forgiving, but numbers-wise, the 101Ts worked the best. So in with the 7-iron now. So two very similar flights. It's going to be very interesting to see where they have gone. We know that the P790 might have missed the green, but that might have snuck on, Dave. I think it might have done. So as we come up, Dave's just seen there. So the 790 did just reach the bunker, so just in there. And we've got the Tacoma 101 just further up there. And you will say that, obviously, yes, that was Dave's second shot, so he might have learned a little bit from there. We do have a little bit of offset, as you can see on screen now, from the P790. And that's something with Dave. We know that he does tend to miss to the left, so offset's not something that's going to be his friend. How good does the course look for this time of the year? But nicely onto the green here, but we're going to go to the numbers now, talk through those, show you how we've seen some differences in front to back dispersion, left to right dispersion, and also the overall numbers. So very similar looking golf clubs there. So Dave's like this look of the club. That's why he chose the 101 tees, but we can see from the numbers, 101T carrying 144, whereas the P790 only 139, even though it is stronger lofted. But then we know that with the P790, that was running out a little bit too much. And that's why we went for Dave. We went weaker loft so he could get a little bit more height. He can get it to land on the green and stop because that's what we saw last season, especially when we played at Garford. A lot of shots launching low, running through the green, and especially when it comes into the summer, hard greens at Garforth, which we're going to be filming in the coming weeks, we're not stopping it on there. We're having to chip a lot more. We're not going to be getting down single figures as easy. So we're going to hit two into the green here now, and then we're going to discuss, obviously, front to back dispersion. The P790s are the most forgiving, 
but which one was the most front to back, which one was the best, which one was the most consistent, because that's really what we're looking at for Dave. So Dave's gonna come in here now. We've got 145 yards to the flag. We're gonna switch it up this time. We're gonna go with his 101T first to make okay. it a fair test. We want to make sure. And you saw in the studio, we've hit 10 shots. So Dave's hit plenty of shots there. So we've got a good average for you to see the consistency. But then we want to see out on the golf course, what kind of flight are these producing only one and a half degrees in it difference wise but we can certainly see with a little bit of offset on the p790 it can have an effect and that's a nice towering seven iron a little bit of draw on there and that's just pitched left of the bunker and caught the right hand side so let's switch it up now dave i'll give you the p790 thank you feel wise dave for you what do you think is it is there much difference in it is it is it very similar it's it's quite similar this the, the 790 feels a little bit lighter in the head okay um but when i've when i've sort of held both of them together sort of halfway down the shaft they feel the same weight so i'm guessing there's more weight in the shaft on the 790. Yeah, and that's it. And that's the the feel and reel of it. When Dave's hitting it, it's all about the feel over the ball and how comfortable you feel with this club. The offset down at the ball, does it? they look much different, Dave? No, I wouldn't say there looks to be loads of offset on it, Chris. The, okay. There is some, don't get me wrong. but Not like um, the 101s, for example? No. No, so not as much as the 101s. It's very minimal, but that can have an effect, obviously, on Dave hitting it a little bit left. It might be good if you uh, are somebody who leaks it out to the right. Yeah. So very similar flight there. Strike wise, Dave, similar? Yeah, yeah. Right. That, well, just slightly towy, but yeah. Slightly towy, and yeah. we can see it was slightly towy actually from the 101T. So it'd be very interesting there with off centre strikes. What's the difference in distance? You can see Dave's ball's pitched in there, it's round round, and that's the P790, so didn't quite carry over this bunker, so it's pushed a little bit out to the right. That's probably Dave thinking about, well, it has got a little bit of offset, so I need to counter for that. But we can see the 101T, very similar strikes, but that's carried over the bunker, landed on here, and ran out. And that's a much more, it's, again, it's a miss green, but that's much easier for Dave to be able to get up and down from, so we can need to now, talk about front and back dispersion. So you'll see the front and back dispersion very similar there but so one thing that we talked about there you'll have seen is obviously peak height peaking a lot higher with the 7iron 101t which is exactly what we expected that's what we want to see the p790 is full of technology with the thinner face with the lower cg to try and produce more optimum ball flight so get it launching higher but then it's got stronger loft so it's very hard to then be able to be consistent with this it's launching lower than the 101t's and the biggest thing we need to talk about which i did miss at the front of the uh, video is price we're looking at 650 pounds cheaper and that's why the man from yorkshire the man that is dave <laughs> did go for these because it's better for the pocket it's better for mrs harrison's shoe collection and really when we look at those numbers is it worth it is it worth going for the taylor may brand because you know taylor made you know what it does these wouldn't have helped. And yes, they are more forgiving, and a lot of people comment to saying would it be better off with more forgiving. On the occasion, you can see the dispersion is the tightest with the Tacomos, and that's the main thing. The dispersion, yes, it's still a little bit left, which is more technique, but the dispersion and the consistency is exactly what we're looking for. The launch is better, so the landing angle into the green is better, and that's getting the more carry and being able to get closer and be able to get his handicap down and that's the main thing we're looking for and that's the reason why we didn't go for the 101s that's the reason why we wouldn't go for the p790s but we are going to now test how these compare to the p770s those are the closest irons from TaylorMade that would be towards this and then we're going to look at the paradigms we're going to look at the pings guys comment below what other irons you want to see us test against what other things you want to see dave test we've also got some new wedges for dave which will be going on in the coming weeks so hopefully you've enjoyed that hopefully that gives you an understanding of going stronger is not always the answer and if you can save 650 pounds and still get a good performance is it worth it see you next week